is up, YouTube? It's your brother, Franchise Guy, coming at you again with another set of NHL 20 Franchise Mode featuring your New York Rangers. This episode will take on the Ottawa Senators to finish up the season. Lundquist, 814-313-905. Not sure if those are his actual stats for the season. Wouldn't put it behind him. Robin Leonard, 814-31. Yeah, no, they're not. It's just some. Another visual glitch this game has. I mean, I, I, I love playing this game. I really do. I love this franchise mode. But it just, it just gets tiresome after a while. It's like I can, you can only have so many like visual. Like you know, you can only have so many visual graphic errors. I'm totally gets like that. Like, come on, how do you guys like not have a, a fix this bug yet? But taking on the center, centers. I mean. I think it's like a big trade. You got Colin White from them. I mean, hasn't really turned into like a first line kind of guy. I mean, he's a pretty decent second liner, I'd say. And for some reason, the centers are probably like 30 games out of the playoffs, but they're playing. Super aggressive for some reason. Wow, dude, what a shot is right. Like, how do we, how do you keep that puck that my stick went through? Look at that. He uh, poke check the pass as it happened. Chris Kreider. Oh, there's the NBA icing. Yeah, it's whatever. Come on. No, okay, apparently my Tychonic just can't get off the block. Moves along the blue line. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Not Fournier. Hag. Dude, like Lundquist, what are you? What is happening here? This game. Can someone? Like, how is every player on their team faster than my players? New York's got the puck. Can he saddle in the defensive end? From the point, looks to make something happen. And now it's grabbed by Alexiak. Moves it quickly over to Ryan. All right, Bobby Ryan, who is a uh, bust of a player. New York's got a hold of the puck. It's Carson Torinsky. Oh boy. I feel like everyone has Torinsky had a uh, pretty decent sizable lead on everyone. But everyone just kind of caught up to him. Alright, Lundquist. Oh, come on. 
Lundquist, what is happening here? Back-to-back -back goals, seriously, dude, like, what is his problem? Nope. Oh, what a frustrating quarter that was. Or period. The onslaught. What onslaught was there? The Ottawa Senators, for some reason, playing 10 times. Look, look at them go again. Here they go. Dude, what? Jay O'Brien. O'Brien pushing in on the attack. Oh, what a stop! Well position save, and he has the rebound over in the corner. There's the physical size. Ryan cutting against the boards. Takes it and looks ahead. All right, Alexander Ovechkin. Battered out in front, and that's tipped off. Oh, that's a good hit. Slides the pass over to Ryan. Robs the puck. Three. Dude, what is Lundqvist doing? Why are you still in here? Because you're a professional goalie who's been in the league for 4,000 years, who's getting paid $5 million a season. That's why you're in there. You're getting in there because you need to learn how to not let five whole goals. Why is, for some reason, Hag just drifted away from Kreider? Didn't even play, just didn't even feel like Pope. Why is Pope not playing that correctly? Dude, I just have n just no one has showed up this game to play. Not one player has showed up this game to play. So that's the most hockey move that's been this entire episode so far. Alright, Corey Perry. Hmm. Uh, well, I guess the playoff list uh, Senators, who are just going to for some reason play way above their pay grade. Come on. Off the ice you do. This one felt like it was coming here over the last little bit. A frustrating evening for them. They're a long ways away from getting back in this game. Play resumes. They win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Here's a Howard grabbing that. Comes up like a stop. Ottawa can take that still on the boards. Across the blue line, 
There we go. Lafreniere gets one on the goal. Stop. At least we we are following the board at least. So uh, his 22nd of the season. Come on, Carson. There we go. Carson Torinsky, his NHL debut. Not too shabby for the young fella. You know, picked him up in a trade with Philly. And he came over. And, uh, yeah, no, he's making his NHL debut this episode. So not too shabby for the young guy. I'm sorry, who, who is that right there making these, making these stick moves right there? Who are you? Like, I know I'm not, like, a huge hockey fan and all, but for Menton, I'm pretty sure is not some finesse player who's going to be finessing everyone. Like everyone's avoiding hits. Into the offensive end now. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Here's a chance. Ottawa's got control of it now from their own end. Rocked on the play. To his teammates. What a steal in his own end. Come on, Jay. Over the line they come. Back on a stick now. Big time stop there. That's a solid hit. Pushes it across the side step. Rocks them. Look, there's a hit right there that doesn't. Lundquist fails to rebound correctly. Uh, Nico Koivu at 5,000 years old is intercepting passes. I uh, got checked from behind. And checking him from the front did not do a single thing. He stumbled while I got checked from behind and fell onto the ice. So I don't. I don't know what's supposed to be happening here, but I'm pretty sure that's not it. Anthony Sorelli bringing it up. Look, there's a check from behind on him. But we're going to get a penalty, and he was able to shoot the puck twice right there. Oh, what a surprise, it's a penalty. He had it. How does Lundqvist lose that puck? He has it in his glove. If this is the puck, he had it in his glove. And it was like, all right, now I'm done. And then he lets it go in. Like, come on, Henrik Lundqvist. Like, I'm sorry. He's not coming back next season. Like, I don't care if you're a Rangers If you've been a Rangers fan for 30 years now and you've Seen, if you watched every Rangers game Henrik Lundqvist has played in, you own seven Lundqvist jerseys. Uh, not my problem. You should probably go look at finding a new player to like. 
I think that's the first poke check I've ever seen Lundquist do this entire series. Oh, okay. Andrew caught the, uh... Great player he is. There we go. I uh No, definitely not his first career goal. Come on, can we get it out of our zone, please? No, that was that. How is that not a trip? That's a trip right there, if I've ever seen a trip. Oh, boy. There we go. Oh boy. There we go, Anthony Sorelli. Oh boy. What a gamer here. All tied up now, finally. All tied up. Oh my lord. Skate, dude.
right foot to Ovechkin. Nope. Oh, come on, let my guy around. Nope, I'm just... Oh, Ovechkin almost wins it right there. Alright. Overtime hockey. Ovechkin's... What is this? Okay. I don't know who he is. It's a Bino Jad. Former Ranger right there. Got trade for Colin White. Real fight, Anthony Sorelli, so. You're telling me the first shot of the game goes in. He has a veg in front of him and he makes that shot. That is absurd. That is what's wrong with this game right here. There's no reason that shot should go in. Especially for Bobby Ryan, who is absolute garbage for the centers. There's no reason the center should have won this. But you see right here, Ryan with the game winner with a one star. Colin White had two goals for the two star. And Kreider. Former Ranger right there, now Senator with a three star. If you guys like this episode, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you guys missed any of the social posts down below, text on YouTube. Peace out, rock on, and stay super classy, I guess.